Hey everyone, happy Friday. I hope you had the best week. I have had such a good week. I've had, actually had a good, just couple of weeks. And oh, thank you so much for all your positive response on my car. I love it. I love it. I have not been this thrilled with a car since my Corvette. I had a 94 Corvette black on black when I was, I guess it was probably in 95 or 96. I was 25 or 26 years old. And that's the last time that I felt like I do now. It's, it's amazing. If you're a car person, you know. Okay, the first thing I want to tell you about today and this little portion uh, of the video is sponsored by Sleep and Glow. This is probably one of my easiest collaborations because I would tell you about this pillow anyway. I was telling John this morning, he makes the bed because he gets out later than I do and I'm usually already upstairs. And I had put my pillow out so he wouldn't put it, you know, when he made the bed. And so he came in the kitchen and he said, I left my Sleep and Glow pillow out too. I said, oh gosh, I didn't think about that, thank you. And I told him, I kind of associate this pillow with, <laughs> I don't know how to, re how to phrase it. It's really when I got control of my health and my gut issues because when I got control of that, everything in my life changed. And I'm gonna go ahead and warn you, this could be a sappy, deep video. I can show you this brush and give you an emotional meaning to it today. I mean, I don't know what it is. It's just been like that. You guys know how I am. Every once in a while, I go through a real deep, soul-searching little session, and that's what I've been through lately. And I love to share it with you because I feel like it can help you. But anyway, <laughs> back to these pillows. I started using this pillow right around the time that that happened, that I was getting control of my health. And I was just telling a friend this morning, sleep is, sleep is so important. It's so important that you need to read about it. And if you go to bed each night and you don't have a good pillow, then you're not gonna sleep well. So I love this pillow so much. We have been staying at the beach off and on at like our, it's like a family type beach house. We've been staying there for the past couple of weeks and I've got another one down there because I do not want to sleep without it. John was saying he likes his because it helps his neck. When I first got this, they sent it to me. I had never used anything like this before. And here, let me put, John's down. And I'm going to tell you, I put a fresh pillowcase on this last night knowing I was going to make this video today. And I've already got some kind of watermark. If I had to say, my eyes must have been running. And it's kind of stained. You can tell from like makeup. I mean, just different stuff, but that just shows you how much I use it. Okay, back to the design of it. Okay, I sleep with mine with the fattest part. See, there's a little thinner part and a fatter part. I sleep with this part down. These are kind of gradually cut out so that when you put your face here, not only do you have a natural dip for your neck, but it doesn't squish. I never wake up with those lines anymore, like creases on my face. It helps with preventing wrinkles. It helps with me with breathing having my nose not smushed in a pillow that smushes up around your face. I love that. When I first got it, it was so radical. I couldn't fathom just sleeping on this one pillow because I had always, I think all my life slept on two pillows. So what I did in the beginning is I put this on top of a thin pillow and I started out that way. So maybe that if you get it and you think it's not tall enough for you, start like that. And then I don't think it'll be long before you realize the value of this pillow being the exact like height of your neck. My favorite sleeping position is I like to curl up like on my stomach and put both of my arm, arms underneath me. And this is just like the perfect height. It doesn't bend my neck. It is the yummiest, coziest position ever. 
and I sleep with my arms above it like this. I, I like to sleep on these ends, kind of like this sometimes, because these are like extra squishy. So anyway, I feel like I've gone on and on enough about it. I really think it's worth a try. I think it's worth the money to try. I will have a discount and a code down below. And then they have many other things on their website, like scrunchies, the silk scrunchies. This I use at night when I'm sleeping. And I also use these to hold up like shirts and blazers. And they also have a really nice sleep mask I cannot remember if I gave mine. I thought I gave it to Brooke, but I think I gave it to my mom. I am not someone who sleeps with a sleep mask every day, but <laughs> this is funny. My mom does. She used, she used to sleep with a sock. <laughs> and so I have moved her up to a sleep mask and Brooke does and even Will does. Will has a really cool one that is it's black and it has like headphones built into it so he can listen to like podcasts and stuff. So I'll link that below too. But for the typical person, I think a regular silk sleep mask is the best. So like I said, I will leave a link and a discount down below and guarantee I would not be mentioning it to you if I didn't like it. I love it. And I have had so many people say that they have had great success with getting rid of neck pain, back pain, and I just think it's just comfy and cozy. Now, I will go ahead and tell you today's video is going to be fragrance heavy, but I also have three pair of shoes and some new makeup releases. So let's get started. The first thing that I got that I, I don't know if I'm that excited about it once I got it, but I saw that Lady Gaga House Labs had gone into Sephora. So I ordered the three of the lips. Where's the other one? Here. I ordered, let's see the names, Mauve Matte, uh, Light Peony Matte, and Rose Matte. So I, the other two are probably a little bit light for me. They do come, they're very nice looking, and I will say I have always been pleased with House Labs makeup, even, you know, just getting it off of Amazon. So, hmm, anyway, trust me, there's a sharpener under there, and then they're like this. And they are very pretty tones. This is the Rose Matte. But they are matte. Like yesterday, I I think we went to the pool a little for a little while, and I just wanted to test one of them so I could tell you I'd just gotten them. They're too matte for me. But if you put a gloss over them, or you like matte lips, then I think you would love them. I just, I'm gonna try to get better at telling you exactly what I think instead of being scared to, you know, criticize a brand or whatever. I just think they're too matte, especially if you're my age or you're worried at all about lip lines. They're just so matte. And then I ordered, Looks like two of the cream shadow pigment type things. I got high power pigment paint in blush matte and beige matte. Now, in all fairness, I haven't tried these because I don't know why. I think I did swatch this one. So this is the pinker tone blush and then this is the beige. I do love products like this. So I will give these a good try, but I'll swatch them for you here today. What I like about these is they don't look like they're really matte. To me, these look like these are, I mean, they may get more matte after they dry, but they look just pretty creamy to me. So anyway, I don't know, just looking at those colors, I don't know if I'm gonna like those on my eyes. I'm gonna have to play around with that a little bit more and see how I feel. So that is something, oh, and I did order, I just ordered yesterday or day before, I did order her bronzer. I don't know how I missed that. And I ordered the new Huda Beauty Concealer. I'm real excited for that because I really enjoy Huda Beauty. I think, you know, 
we have the same vibe when it comes to makeup. I ordered two colors in the concealer, so as soon as that comes in, maybe Monday or next week sometime, we'll do a tutorial with that. I wanted to give you some feedback on the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, cream bronzer. I think this is pretty. I think this is dry. I think that it's a little harder to work with than a lot of cream bronzers. It's not that I don't like it or I can't make it work. I just don't find myself reaching for it because it's not as easy to work with. But if you are a lover of Charlotte Tilbury and you want to try it, I do think it's worth trying. It's just that is my two cents worth. Now, this is something that I have you guys to thank for. This is the Mario Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. Remember when I showed you the sculpting powder? Love it, love it, love it. And I wanted to remind you how much I love his Creamy Peach Blush. I know if you've been here with me for a while, you remember how much I love that. But I wore it the other day and it just makes your cheeks glow. It is one of the prettiest peach blushes I've ever tried. I went on to try all of his other blushes. None of them thrilled me like that one does. I feel the same way about that Soft Sculpt bronzing powder and I got the medium. So I did go ahead and get this because a lot of you told me it wasn't a makeup. People are using it as bronzer. Uh, you can see I have been using it and I love it. I love it. It is beautiful. Do I think, everybody asks me, is it as good as the Chanel? It's probably not quite as creamy as the Chanel, but I feel just as good after I have this on, if that tells you anything. It's another, it's a, another option for you. And if you, you know, sometimes we just like a certain makeup brand. If you already like Mario, I think you would love this. I, I like it much better than the Charlotte Tilbury. The color I got is medium and I really like it. I wanted to thank you for suggesting it. And I got an email from Tarte saying that they had launched a new Sculpt Powder Shape Tape Glow Bronzer. Wow, okay. Because on the back it says Baked Cool Toned Powder. Natural, ma natural matte, never flat finish, wear all over sun kiss glow or sculpt to carve cheeks. Okay, I guess that's what got me. Oh my goodness. I wore this, I'm wearing this today. It is beautiful. I love Tarte. Tarte's one of my favorites. This powder is beautiful. It is so soft and silky. Here, let me put it. I mean, it is just... Gorgeous. It reminds me of the baked matte or baked powders from Laura Mercier. It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it. I also got the brush that came with, I don't know if the brush came with that or this, but I got, I'll put it down below because I ordered from the website. Love the brush. Love it. Just a good, thick, soft, bouncy, good brush. And I used this with this. This is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Amazonian Clay 16 hour long wearing powder with the full coverage of a liquid foundation. Infused with Amazonian Clay and Hyaluronic Acid to moisturize, won't cake, flake, or fade. I put on my Valentino MN, which is the neutral four, and I did not set today. I did not set with the Laura Mercier. I set with this. Look at this beautiful compact. You see how pretty it is, how it's got like that pearl to it. The lights might be drowning it. Might be able to see it. Yeah, here, I think you can see it better out here. It is just so pretty. It is so pretty. It's like a mother of pearl. And then here is the powder. I think I chose the exact right shade, which is the 32 neutral, medium neutral. And so that is the shade, and that is what I have set my makeup with, and it was perfect, perfect. Today was a good day. You know, you have like some of those makeup days, especially when I'm trying new things, because they may not kind of go together. When you're always trying new things, it's hard to like, you know, they might not go with that foundation or whatever, but this just went right over that foundation. It went right with the bronzer. It went right with the eyeshadow palette. It just went with everything. So I am so excited about that. And it does come with a 
puff that I'll probably never use unless I use it just to demonstrate to you guys. But these three winner, winner chicken dinner. Okay, now I teased you a little bit on Instagram this week about a new lipstick. I'm wearing it today and the name of it is, I actually bought two that day. It was one of those days that I set out with my lip liner, Paradise, my lipstick co collaboration with Christian Audette, which is Golden Hour, and that is a light pink, a light, um, I would say like a lavender cool tone pink. It was wearing off, and I just wanted something that was just a beigey pink color. So I ended up picking up the Money Maker. And this is kind of like a rosy brown color. Let me put it right here. It is beautiful. It is just a beautiful color. Now the other day I wore it on its own and I didn't like it as much as I did that day over my light pink. So that's what I have on today is I started out with Paradise, Golden Hour, and then I put this over it. So it's going to be this shade, just a little bit darker, which you may love, but if you put it over a light pink or creme de nude or the wet and wild color, the peach one that I told you about, any of those, it's gonna lighten it up a little bit. Or you could put this on and then you could put a lighter color over it. I just like it like this, where it's just beigey, nude, pinky lips. These are good lipsticks. No matter what color you choose, I probably have like five of them now. Anytime I feel like I want a certain color, I can go to the Huda counter and find that color. And that's interesting. Those matte shadows from Lady Gaga really stayed on my hand. So anyway, now the next one I got is, because when I was picking them out that day, I couldn't decide between Moneymaker and Sweet Cheeks. Sweet Cheeks is going to be a little pinker, but equally beautiful. Matter of fact, let's put, let me blot the excess off. And we'll put the pink on. That's beautiful too. Just two good, sexy, Angelina Jolie, Rosie Huntington Whiteley, wear everyday colors. They're just gonna accent your lips. I think they're just an amazing consistency. They're that perfect creamy satin that doesn't slip all over the place, hugs your lips, kind of smooths them out, and I just can't say enough good about them. They're just good, good lipsticks. Now we're heading into fragrance. And I was thinking about this the other day, how I wanted to kind of explain to you my thought process through all of this. I consider us all friends and it's almost like we're at a big table and we're all drinking strawberry margaritas and we're all talking. And I just happen to be here and you just happen to be there. And I love it when you talk to each other too. That's the best thing. So pretend that we're all sitting there one night, we're eating chips and salsa, we're just having the best time and I say out of the blue, you know, I'm ready to get a new fragrance. I'm ready to get a new perfume. I'm kind of tired of my old ones and I haven't really smelled any a long time in a long time. And a bunch of you at the table said, yeah, yeah, me too. And then I say back to you, well, that's part of my job and I have a budget to spend on trying new makeup and new clothes and new perfumes why don't you guys let me try a whole bunch of the new ones and the old ones and really investigate all of the most popular perfumes and then I will get back to you and tell you which ones I think are the best. That is what has been going on in my mind. So I don't want you to think that I would expect anyone else to buy all these perfumes because you're not gonna be reviewing them. You're not going, you don't have a YouTube channel. It's not part of what you do. So that's why I have purchased so many. My future plan is to pick out the best ones that I like and then I'll give away or sell or whatever with the rest of them. I'm really not worried about that. What I'm focusing on now is finding the best. And so I think that I just have found so many good ones. And I was also thinking this morning that, you know, it's kind of like 
I don't know, finding what really makes you happy in life is very similar to finding out what really makes you happy in a fragrance because you have to kind of try different things and then you have to really identify what it is that's bringing you that good feeling either in a fragrance or in life and you have to then look for that thing in other perfumes or other aspects of your life and that's how it's been so throughout this i have learned so much about what i do and i don't like and i have just just it's been the greatest thing and i really think that scent is so powerful one day i want to do a funny video on different scents in my life that have been powerful but that ended up being funny things you know so the first one i want to talk about many of you asked me to try this killian i don't need a prince by my side to be a princess perfume i got a small one because i kind of had a feeling that it was going to be kind of like the same old same i think it's like a marshmallow vanilla type fragrance and i did try it and i do like it but i will say that oh it smells so good i mean you're not not going to like this it is very soft it's a warm and spicy scent warm and sweet gourmand ginger green tea and marshmallow so i would say it is spicy with the ginger it reminds me of something but to me that's the thing it reminds me of something a lot of these latest perfumes they all remind me of each other so i do think it's very pretty i think that it's more of a fall and winter fragrance for me but i think it's really pretty i'm glad i got it and it was one of those things i kept seeing over and over the big you know fragrance reviewers talk about it's on a lot of their favorites and so it's good i'm that kind of person i have to know and so now i know and i don't feel like i need a bigger bottle but i do like it enough that i'm going to wear it probably in the fall okay the next one i won't spend much time on this but olympia olympia i got i thought i had them all i think the only one i don't have now is the solar the new one and i need to check to see if it's available to us in the u.s but this is the intense not the legend not the Blossom, not all of the other ones. It's the Intense. And I have to say, this is, this, I will never be without Olympia perfume. It has been probably the most remarkable fragrance that I have tried. The most, like me, I would have to say even more than Bronze Goddess because it's, you could wear it all year round. It is just so beautiful to me look up the let me look at the notes okay i'm gonna look up on fragrantica don't always believe everything on fragrantica because i didn't realize that a lot of the um a lot of this is just viewer or reader subscriber input so it's not always the exact thing but the main accords are amber vanilla salty powdery marine animalic and sweet and let's see a modern day goddess beauty wit glory but why stop there olympia is back at her best half myth half muse a goddess at the pinnacle of her power high heels highly desirable with her fragrance she announces and signs her success carnal and irresistible sensual salty vanilla fused with deep amber it is sexy it just is and it's I was thinking, you know, when I'm at the beach now, I really try to smell and like smell what the beach is or what it smells like. It does not smell like suntan lotion. It smells salty. It smells kind of earthy. And the one flower that I can say really smells like the beach to me is jasmine. It's not tiari flower, not in, not at Wrightsville Beach or Topsail Beach or in North Carolina. That might be in Hawaii or somewhere like that. But at my beaches, it is not floral and it does not smell like coconut or anything. That is, you may already smell like that because you're wearing suntan oil, but that's not what the beach smells like. So I think those are two different things. It's not that I don't think those coconut tiari flowers make you think of the beach, but they don't smell like the beach. 
This smells more like the beach, and I have some other ones here that smell more like the beach. And um, that has been kind of fun for me too, to kind of do that little experiment. Okay, the next ones are these. They sell these on their website and Sephora. I think this one, Tropical Nights, is sold out. Here again, Tropical Nights is very similar to, I don't know where I put it, but the prints. It's the same, well, let's, I, I shouldn't say that. It's Creamy Tonka Bean Vanilla Absolute. So it's that same creamy vanilla gourmandy deeper type scent that I don't really associate with the summer. To me, this is more of a fall winter type fragrance, but I know a lot of people wear that all year round. I, it's wear whatever you want to, but for me, I don't find this to be typical, you know, the typical summer scent. These two, oh my goodness. I was really surprised. I did not think I would like these that much. But this one, the Sea and Soul, Juicy Citrus and Ocean Musk. I don't know what I did with my little sticks I had with them. Here. Fresh. My kind of freshness. Oh my goodness. So good. I think it even says Juicy Citrus. Okay, does it even say any more? Kiss of the Sun. Here, let me read it. Um, plunge into the ocean and feel the refreshing kiss of sun days rolling waves against your skin with the fresh juicy scent of sea and soul perfume mist okay top note juicy citrus tangy star fruit okay uh, pink pepper fresh violet in the middle and ocean musk and white driftwood this is fabulous matter of fact put this. I'm going to put the other one on the other arm. I'll just be tutti fruity today. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. If you like fresh scents, it's not, not really musky. It's mostly fresh and invigorating. And I would just say, I would just say summer freshness. Now this one was a pleasant surprise. This is the Solar Tuberose. That has been my great discovery, tuberose and jasmine. I never knew I loved those two scents like I do. Gosh, let me get out of the light. Um, light de coco, warm sand, solar tuberose, ylang ylang, creamy vanilla, and amber essence. This is so good. Here, I'm gonna, let me spray this arm. Okay, when I told you last week that tuberose smells like pink bubblegum, it doesn't always. That's the sweet, sweet ones. I was just trying to give you a feel for what it smells like. Okay, if you like Bronze Goddess, Oh Fresh, you will love this. It's beautiful, beautiful. I love it. I just totally, totally recommend these. These are going to be for more of your beautiful, romantic, more of a floral summer scent like Bronze Goddess. This is going to be more for those of you. It doesn't smell like light blue, but if you like light blue and you like the cleaner, fresher scents for summer, you would love this. Okay, now speaking of light blue, I don't really like light blue that much. But I kept hearing about this one. This is Atelier Cologne Lemon Island. I don't really like lemon scents either. So it took me a long time to get this. But I ordered from Amazon. I don't think they sell Atelier Cologne in the U.S. anymore. I did see this on Nordstrom Rack. So I'll put it down there too. And I got it yesterday and love at first sniff. Just beautiful. It comes in this little, really cool little case here. I'm not sure how to get it out of here. And I don't know if I really want to. This does not really smell like lemon. Let me look up, what does it say, the notes on here? I watched some videos this morning. This is some small cursive writing, so bear with me. The smell of the frangipani tree and vanilla beans. The energizing power of this very special lemon was embracing them. They could finally share freely. They were 
scared but love would guide them finally and the communion with nature would give them strength to dive into the unknown okay this was must have been like a little love story it's not lemon it is so beachy but in a oh gosh a f another fresh way this I, I cannot really imagine anyone in the world not liking this and it's unisex it's not like a sweet florally smell, but it's not sharp at all. The lemon is more of a like candy lemon, almost like a um, sweet, creamy, warm lemon. It is beautiful. Here, let me. Oh gosh. Fresh, zesty, but smooth and beachy. I'm eventually going to have a video of my letdowns because believe me, I don't think they're all beautiful and I don't think you should get all of them. But I think that the ones I have shown here today, I feel 95% sure you would love. Now, the last one I have to show you is something I have been thinking about since I started. Well, no, since I identified that I love tuberose. And this is the ultimate tuberose. This fragrance... I believe it's been around since like 1948. They say that all of the Hollywood star, female stars would wear it. It's very, it's probably unisex, but it's, it's very feminine to me. And they say, the experts say that everyone, every perfumer that does a tuberose fragrance, it is kind of compared to this, kind of like the ultimate. And I had been thinking about getting it, but there's a petite fracas that I, I couldn't decide which one I wanted. And one of you wonderful friends out there told me that you liked this and you liked it the most. And so I got it and it is, it is the ultimate tuberose fragrance. It is, okay, if you, if you don't know what tuberose smells like, I think another one that's very popular is the Gucci Bloom that's in the square pink ceramic bottle. If you like that, you love tuberose. It's a white floral, it's creamy. It's just, it's my favorite. Now I'm getting ready to show you something with Jasmine and that will be the last one, I promise. But this, it's just like a fresh tuberose. And they say tuberose blooms at night. It's considered just very sexual, very, uh, narcotic, very mesmerizing, and it is. It just, it's one of those scents that makes you want to keep smelling it. Like you love it so much, you keep on smelling it. And I'm just so tickled with this. Thank you so much for encouraging me. It was not crazy expensive for this size, and it is just, I love it. I love it. And I did not even know it had been around this long. And I even love the bottle. It's just, I love everything about it. Okay, then the last thing I wanted to show you is from by Rosie Jane. I know my friend Michael bought the Maddie that I was telling you about that I love so much that smells so much like Bobby Brown Beach. It has the jasmine in it and he loves it too. So um, if you did try this Maddie by Rosie Jane, will you let me know down below what you think of it? Because I am so impressed. They saw my video and they sent me a little package and it has the Maddie Shower Everyday Body Wash. It has the body oil and then it has this, which is the Deodorant. 100% natural, wake the up, <laughs> that's the name of it, grapefruit eucalyptus. Let's read about it. A new way to deodorant made with natural odor fighting ingredients like organic witch hazel and sugar cane alcohol. This liquid deo will protect your pits. Stop the smell and still let your body do what it's meant to do. Sweat. I'm going to tell you a little secret. I don't wear, I don't have to wear like deodorant or antiperspirant anymore. Ever since I went all the way through menopause, I really... I'll just go ahead and say it. I don't stink and I don't really sweat that much. So I have never thought of trying anything like this, but I am thinking I may because sometimes I do, after I've been out, I will wash underneath my arms just to make sure. And so let's, let's put this on for the heck of it. Lemon, 
fresh. What does it make me think of? It's zesty, lemony, fresh. Okay, the eucalyptus might be making it a little zestier. Oh gosh, okay. I'm gonna see. I will put down below how I feel about it. Oh, it smells good. It smells like really energizing. And let me know if you've tried it down below. And the note said, we're so excited that you love Maddie. We're sending you some more Maddie goodies and our new DO. Hope you enjoy them, the BRJ team. Thank you very much. I'm always flattered when someone notices and sends me something. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna stand up. I have on a Zara dress that you saw probably a couple months ago. And let me go ahead and show you the shoes before I get up and try them on. Okay, I had this bucket hat out here to show you. I ordered it from Amazon and I love it. I just think it's the prettiest little lavender color. I wanted to show that to you. And then here are the shoes. I follow Dara from, if you remember her on YouTube, it, she was Belle Du Jour NYC. I miss her videos. But she is very active on Instagram, especially on Instagram stories. And she is so open and so she shares everything. I think she is very stylish, sexy, and she asks questions like on the weekends and someone had asked about her shoes and these are the shoes. And you guys know how much I already love this style with the clear strap. Well, I went to go get them on the Schutz website and they were having a sale. She mentioned that she had the nude, that she has the lavender, and that she has the iridescent. So I got the nude, the lavender, and the iridescent because these are right up my alley and they were on sale. I think the nude ones might have been regular price, which was still $100, which is right in line with most brands. And then I think one or both of these was knocked down to, I think, $70 and I just knew I would enjoy them. So they actually inspired me to wear this dress. So I don't know if I want to wear the, hmm, I think I'm gonna wear these today. I just knew I'd have a lot of things. I have a lot of lavender things and I've always loved iridescent like that. So the other clear shoes that I have have more of a, they have a clear heel and it's a little bit thicker. I thought these were a little bit different and I just, I don't know, I knew I would enjoy them. And I did get true to size and they seem to fit well. Are you guys like me? I never put my purse on the floor. It's bad luck. <laughs> You'll lose all your money. <laughs> okay, for accessories, I have on a hodgepodge. I have on my Miranda Fry Huggies that I love. I have on the Dean Davidson studs. These are the midi size. I have on his little birthstone necklace. And I have on my wolf ring, my Chanel watch, and you guys know my fragrances. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being my friends. I hope you guys know how much I care about you, how much I think about you, and how much I want to enhance your life. I want to be a bright spot in your life. I want, to, I want you to look forward to seeing me, and I look forward to seeing you next time. See you then. Bye-bye.